Hello, my name is John Shaw. I'd like to thank you for purchasing this tape on combat pistol shooting. Currently, I'm rated the number one three-gun combat shooter in the world. The purpose of this tape is to introduce you to the basics of pistol shooting, which I cover during an extensive 30-hour course at my range at Mid-South Institute of Self-Defense Shooting. First thing we're going to cover in this film is how to load your 45 Alto. A lot of people make mistakes in how to load their weapons. First thing we do, we pull the slide back. We're going to insert the magazine. Right now, we'll pull the trigger. Hold the trigger all the way back. Then drop your slide. You release the trigger and put your safety on. Put your eighth round in your weapon. Put, drop your magazine out. Put your other round in. Load it up as so. A lot of people make the mistake of loading the 45 the wrong way. What they first do is they take a round out of their pocket or out of a box, drop it in the chamber, then drop the slide on this round. Put the safety up and put the magazine in. This is wrong. The extractor is made in a 45 Alto to be stripped from the magazine, not to be dropped in, not to drop the slide on top of it. The reason being the extractor comes out and goes over the rim of the case. The extractor is not made to do that. Every time you do that, you share the danger of breaking your extractor and also weakens the extractor. So you should never drop around the chamber and then drop the slide on top of it. Regardless of what holster you use, whether it be strong side, cross draw, or what, especially be aware of crossing your body when you're drawing your weapon. Just then as I drew it, I swept this hand. As I holstered, I swept it again. People start with a hand say up in competition or anywhere else in any practice exercise. They come here, draw the weapon, and come out and shooting the target. They put the gun back in the holster, and what do they do? They're sweeping this hand. A lot of times you come back and you sweep your, your legs with it. Okay? Main thing is keeping the muzzle of that gun away from you. The cross draws, especially be aware. You're wearing the gun right here, you're coming down and hitting it, you're sweeping right across your hand and wrist. Come up and shoot the target. Most people come to the same position back and cross their hand again with it. You don't have the two hands. Let's try to keep those hands, okay? Uh, we're going to cover three things right now. It's going to be a stance, the grip, and the draw. I think probably the best stance to have is not a square away stance. Police have been teaching this for years. This is wrong. They come squared away, they go to a squat. You draw on your gun, you got everything moving. You got your gun moving up, you got your head going down, you got your body going down. This is wrong. It's all unnecessary. I think your best stance is probably a boxer stance. Okay? You got your stronger support here. I'm locking my right arm pretty well straight out. I keep my left arm bent. I come up with that weapon. I do not tilt down. I come straight to the target. My arm is locked here. My elbow is bent on the left arm. Okay? My shoulders and feet are parallel. I got right here to draw in this direction. Notice my shoulders, the back of my feet are parallel here. A lot of people get in this stance of a boxer stance. They bring the gun out and they're throwing the shoulder. You can see my shoulder now is squared away to the target. My feet are angled back. This does no good at all. Your shoulders and your back of your feet need to be parallel. It needs to be real comfortable here. Uh, what we use here is called a natural point of aim. Get your feet in a boxer stance. Get your shoulders parallel to it. Close your eyes now. Swing back and forth. Okay? Let's get as far this way. Do you feel uncomfortable? As far this way as you feel uncomfortable. Let's get right here in the middle with your eyes still closed. Okay, open your eyes. Look where your target is. I don't want to move my gun to the target. I want to move my feet. My feet shift around. I'm on my target. This is your natural point of aim. Why teach shooting is easy. Everything about it is easy. Just get comfortable. There's really no certain way to, to do any of this, but the most comfortable way to you. In the strongest position, and the easiest, and the slowest of motion, with the most value of motion. Okay? So remember that. Close your eyes. Get comfortable. 
If you had to stand here for an hour or two, you know, how would it be? My feet's comfortable, my hips are comfortable, my shoulders are comfortable, my arms, my head, everything. I will now open my eyes, look where my target is. If I need to adjust, I move my feet. Real important part. Cover now the draw. A lot of people say with their hands up, let's swing all the way out here to draw a weapon. This is wrong. Let's use economy of motion, good smoothness. My hand goes straight to the gun. The gun goes straight to the target. Okay? A lot of people you see drawing, they draw the weapons, sweep the ground. Okay? They sweep the ground. This is wasted movement. A lot of people come up, grab the gun, and come over and come down to the target and pull the trigger. This is wrong. Remember, straight to your gun, the gun straight to the target. Okay? Your grip on the gun. You've seen all these, I guess, textbook ways of how to shoot a 45. That's grab the gun with one hand, leave your thumb on the safety, put this finger here in front of the trigger guard, leave this thumb up, okay? Have you ever tried shaking hands with anybody and leaving your thumbs up? Much less putting a finger up their arm. You can't do it. If you're just going to grab somebody's arm or wrist, you wouldn't leave them thumbs up. They're the weakest part of your body. What you want to do is put your thumbs together. Basically what I'm doing, I'm grabbing the gun, making a fist. My safety comes off on the way out here. Do not knock your safety off here in the holster. Okay? Your safety should come off once you clear your holster, once you clear your body. Okay, all I did then was make a fist. Come bring the gun up, I'm making another fist. I got both my hands into a double fist there. Okay? So all I'm doing is just grabbing the gun, like my safety down, my finger goes in the trigger guard, I'm grabbing it again. Okay? That's your strongest hole. A double fist. Most of your top shooters are now shooting this way. I'm the one who probably brought it into professional competition. It really helps. And also, the same way you shoot a revolver would be the same way. Grab your pistol, come up, grab it again. 